In this video, I make the final table of the Sunday Million. There is over $100,000 for first. There is the illustrious trophy. It is one of the most prestigious and oldest tournaments on the Poker Star schedule. Do we finally get to call ourselves a Sunday Million champion? We currently have $1,600 in bennies plus $1,267 locked up. Next pay jump is not until we are down to 71 players. Some poor fool is already gone. He's waited all day, he's dreamt about the millie, and he's out. Surely my fellow Irishman could not be the one that causes me the pain. Gonna be a lot of bloody pain if it is. $1,400 bounty would be quite something. If they have ace queen, pocket kings, pocket aces, we're gonna be getting this in pretty sharp as one would imagine. We have a set in day two of the Sunday million. I don't think they're really meant to raise anything here. I'm just gonna shove. I just think two people, I just don't think people raise here correctly. Bing, 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 bing. Give me them chips. 3.2 million. Don't mind if I do. Five out of 90. Don't mind if I do. All right. We're going to start with a raise into a Mago Foso's big blind. 10 out of 89. Still no ladders. And we're going to bet on King for Trey. Flopping a pair is obviously nice. We're not buzzing about it. Certainly not folding just yet, but again, not buzzing about it. I'm not going to bluff my hand. Seems pretty silly. All right, we're just going to show it down. The hands that we're most worried about are a 10. Um, I don't think we bluff with a 4, though. All right, nice. And we pick up the jacks. As the best pocket jacks player in the world, this is an exciting moment. Nobody has decided to come after us. Or Sorry, no one has shoved this. Sorry, Tech Tackleson hasn't shoved. We eventually got there. Either these players shove, we snap. Play for some booties. Interesting decision to flat off this stack. Obviously, occasionally going to be a trap. Mostly not, though. Plus, I'm very good with pocket jack, so we don't particularly need to worry about it anyway. A7-6. I think we can check this three ways. Could be wrong. Like, if this heads up versus a big blind, we'd obviously bet every time. But three ways, we'll start with a check. You got aces, mate. They shouldn't have a huge amount of ace -X. I mean, maybe they have some, but could have like maybe 7-6 suited, 8-9 suited. That side to get a little bit of line on the turn. I think we probably just have to fold. Like, what could they be bluffing with that they flatted pre? Like, are they just betting like jack 10 of spades on the turn? It's not very likely. Chat, if they shove, we're going to need some serious energy in the chat. The problem with this flop is that they probably connected it really, really, really well. So I'm not sure if I should just check with 8 Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we risk the check? Can we risk the check? If the nine of clubs or the ten of clubs peels off, I'm going to fucking cry. Any all-ins? Any all-ins? So we could bluff here with something like a7, a6 that was bluffing pre-flop. Maybe I meant to just bet the turn and I'm just a fucking idiot with fancy play syndrome, but like, it's not the most fun spot to bet the turn in general. Come on, the eights, the hottest hand in the game. You can't fuck with them. Oh my God. Oh my God. You cannot fuck with the eights. That's a pretty big pot, isn't it? Just uh, $1,500 in bounties. Don't mind if I do. No shoves from anyone, unfortunately. All right, we can't be greedy. I think King five deuce is mostly small, but again, if you're going to bet big, this would be the one, right? And we're going to bet the turn against must be nice. Gotta be respectful on these flush completing turns. It's pretty nasty. Obviously our hand is a pure continue, but not loving life. Man, this is so tin. Oh, this is so tin. So incredibly tin. Surely they don't take a check of flush on the river. This might be too tin. Like I'm gonna check raising two pairs on the turn. I'm value jamming, but maybe it's too tin. All right, we take it though. Five million chips, little thin finger wag. Not sure if we've got a little bit carried away there, possibly. We are going to raise this. Goodwill Punting says, would love a double coop Millie Maniac. Oh my God. It's like I knew I downloaded it today on YouTube so we wouldn't miss out, fam. It's not a bad flop, fam. That is what we call top two pair. Obviously, we would love to see a bet. 700,000 chips. All right, we're still just calling here. Pot size bet left on the turn. I don't really know what the worst turn card is. A four? This big pot. Two million chips in the middle. Maybe playing for a $2,200 bounty. Are they thinking of just whacking it all in there? Oh, I guess we just call. It's big. 
they have nines, king nine, or somehow something else that beats me, then it's a monstrous cooler. There's not a we can do about it. Is $2,200 coming my way? Check call queens. No, no heart one time. Check call queens one time. All right. All right. We win a big one. 7.5 million chips. We are three out of 45. We would check this flop a lot generally, but it's obviously a little bit unique with the bounty in play. All right. Well, it's a $1,400 bounty. Of course, we are starting with a call. All right. We got to avoid red cards for $1,400. Unfortunately, that's not happening. The problem is they are going to show pairs that crush us. Oh, man. I think it's worried about five big blinds. In which case, I'm not folding. It's pretty big though, isn't it? No fucking way. One time. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah! 12 out of 42. This is obviously a beautiful, beautiful hand. An elf shove would be very much welcome there. Not sure if I want to go slightly bigger with my true bet because they cover me with the bounty, but it's obviously a lot different to when I was true bet against Cohen earlier on. Can't go as small. It's a board that they're going to do well on, but I have to bet it sometimes and I've decided that we're going to bet here. It's not looking great for me. All right, 25 bigs. And we get ace king. Pay jump is not till 23rd. Don't need to worry about that. Only just over three tables left. We're not going to be seeing it evaporate that quickly. They cover me by a tiny fraction here, which is unfortunate. Will it be Day who gets the last laugh? We are all in. Looks like Quads Killer might have a hand. Huge moment. 27 left in the Sunday Million. We need an ace from space or we are out of here. Put the four up there. Oh! Oh! Yes! What a fucking card. What a fucking card. Oh my god. What a fucking card. Holy shit. And can they just put those 59,000 chips in, please? Oh my god. Put the four up there. Surely they don't fold. Oh my god, they did fold. Oh my god. What in the world? Uh, what is this, man? What is this? Ugh. What the fuck? What the fuck? We're gonna true bet fold this one. Don't think the bounty's so big that I can't get away with this. An interesting flop. Pretty messed up if they were to shove. They shouldn't have ace queen pre. It's hard from the flop of flush when I have this hand. Maybe we still check ace ten though. Not 100% sure. Monotone boards are tough. I don't think I can fold. Like, how can I fold? I don't think they have ace jack off. If they have ace jack of diamonds, then GG. Come on! Boom! Boom! Huge! Sorry, my child's going to sleep. My missus is going to break up with me, but that is a monstrous pot. We got someone bluffing with 23 left in a W cube. Is everybody okay? We're not ecstatic to defend here, but I think against the min we shall be. Ace, seven deuce. Obviously going nowhere on the flop. Would expect mostly to be facing small bets. It's a pretty big turn. Question is, do we check shove or check call? So I do have some turned, like I have like nine, 10 of hearts, jack nine of spades, this kind of thing. I think we shove. And call like ace two, say seven, ace eight. Could be wrong though. Obviously, uh, giving them a chance to blast it off is very, very attractive as well. But we are going to want to check shove on the turn with our big combo draws. So therefore, we have to shove some value. And I think unblocking the ace makes sense in my mind. Espen is all in. If we do not see a jack, we're on the final table. All right, boys and girls. The man might have won the WSOP. Oh my god, we gotta get it on quickly, just in case. We gotta get it on quickly, just in case. Final table of the Sunday Million. Um, I haven't even got a chance, I'm just gonna have to raise here, haven't I? Guaranteed, what, $7,000 plus this? We will not be folding this one. Alright, we're gonna re-raise here. 
Fair play if they just find a rib. Alright, nice spot. That's huge. Back up over 10 milli. So man says cringe as he sits at home watching me trying to win $150,000 wanking off in his parents' basement. I don't think I get the lead here. They still have a lot better queen X to me when they bet one third on the flop. Obviously, it's a pretty good turn card though. We can bluff here with low spades, bluff here with jack 10. Wouldn't bluff with king 10, king jack. Not sure about it though. Got a lot of work to do on these final table sizes. So the situation right now is we are guaranteed $7,000 plus this is good for about 11K, but so much money up top. Oh my God. Oh, do it. All right. Oh my God, that's so sick. Bad B jack by anyone? Wow, that is crazy with the ace. We have queens with 31 big blinds. We would love one of the short stacks to get it in. That makes things much, much easier. I think we retreat back all queens. Like my bandy's not that big. If they shove, we're all in with eight players remaining in the Sunday million. We are not buzzing with this. All right, we just have to hope they have like Jack 8 suited or some shit. We can't bet. It's a huge, 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 huge pop. Come on. Check it, Mika. Check it, Mika. No. Ugh. It's a big pop. Trudzinski obviously got a tough spot here. $5,000 bounty. We got to avoid the ace. This is tragic. Oh, that's so sad for them, but so good for us. So, so, so good. We get the ladder. I don't like this already. I mean, if everyone folds, it's great news. I think I fold this. I know that, like, we see three and a half thousand dollars in bounties, but, like, I still think I fold. I actually don't know. What is three and a half thousand dollars in bounties worth at this point? I gotta get a fucking calculator out. <sighs> three and a half thousand dollars in bounties. I think it's. I think I fold. Like, if it was the opposite way around, I would definitely fold. It's only. It's, it's only worth, like, one big blind, right? Is it worth? Maybe, maybe a little bit more? Maybe 1.5? tragic <clears throat> we don't get the ladders very very short stack obviously we fold this 10 like i say obviously in the end i didn't want to fold this 10 but we do fold this 10 like this is different though if they end up all in they show a raise i'll be all in man this is so big obviously it's for 1500 dollars. it's not that big but inkabark would call super wide here sunday million boys and girls we're all in <laughs> this would be a fucking great time to find a 10 nope how do you find Ace King with half a big blind? Or one big blind? That is crazy, man. Whew! Alright. 12 big blinds. What a shit show. Alright, very good chance we are gonna be all in here. <clears throat> Obviously, stacks are still very close, but not as close as they once were. Got a call blind versus blind, I'm pretty sure. I don't see how I can fold this. Yes, we're six out of seven, but they should be shoving super wide. I don't see a world in which we can fold this. Boys and girls, walking on a dream. It's good enough for me. Gotta hold. There's no way. Boom, 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 boom. Come on, the fucking boys. Four out of seven. Fucking ICM closer fuck. Let's go. $2,000 boonie. Do we see Inca call? Tragic, man. Do it. Oh my god, that is disgusting for the kings. But obviously, absolutely great news for us. We get ourselves some ladders. Five out of six. Playing like a little bitch. And laddering. I like it. I don't really, but I'll take it. A little $20,000 score is good for morale. Double elimination? One time for the good guys? They're going to be nutted as fuck. They're going to be pretty strong as well. Like They're not shoving wide here. Oh, a little bit of queen run good? What are we saying, fam? I hope they have aces. <laughs> they're slow rolling. That would be hilarious. Oh, big flip. We would love an acer king. Just get the ladders out of the way. Boom. Queens. Get it done, oh, which means just more of this nonsense continues. Man, it's pretty rotten here for them. Like they have to put it in if they have anything because Mickey is opening so wide. That's a terrible flop for us. One time. All right, so we're last in chips, which kind of releases the shackles ever so slightly, but obviously means we don't get the ladder. Would have been quite a few dollars. Cheeky little 8,000, wouldn't say no to that. Obviously this is a very, very easy shove. <clears throat> good luck. If we get called, it's generally not going to be good news. 
Swim pocket tents, pocket jacks maybe, but that's probably the... This is not good. This is very bad. We're gonna need some run good boys and girls. We need an ace. Can we find it for 17 million? On the river. Nope. GG. GG. Fuck. 19,000. Plus 4,000 dollars in bounties. 23,000 dollars. Fuck. Unfortunately with this short stack, we'll get in the double up. God damn it, man. Our best place finish in the Sunday million is all of a sudden $23,000 and sixth place. Obviously, bittersweet, great score, no complaints because of that, you know. How many chances are we going to get to win a double coupe on a Sunday million at once? They are going to be few and far between even if we ever get it again.